in this video, I'm going to show you the three biggest mistakes I see with drivers that are stopping you from hitting it longer, straighter, and more consistently. And the best bit is, all three are very easy to fix, and everybody watching this video can fix it and hit the driver better. Number one is very simple, ball position. I see too many golfers, when they set up to driver, having the ball position too central in the stance. Now the issue with that, with driver, we want to get the club going up into the back of the ball. We want the club head moving on an upwards angle of attack. If that ball position gets too far back, the driver gets guilty of hitting down. And you know what the results are? You either hit the ball ridiculously low, like super low, people watching this video might go, that's me, or you could also hit the crown of the driver. You could sky it and the ball actually goes super, super, super high. What we want to do is make sure we hit the golf ball on the way up. So here's a really simple way of doing it. When you put your club head behind the golf ball, start with your feet really close together. And all I want to do from this point here, so you can see the club is pretty much in line with the middle of my feet. All I'm going to get to do is turn the left foot out to let's say 12 o'clock straight. We're going to point the left foot to 11 o'clock and then take your right foot stance nice and wide. So here what we've got, the width of stance is the same width as my shoulders. And check this out. My ball position is in line with my left heel. That way we can hit up into the back of the ball. This is so important when hitting driver. Ball forward so we can get this club moving upwards. And you'll launch it better and you'll hit it much further. Number two is how we position our body as we come into impact. As I've just talked about, we want the driver moving up into the back of the golf ball. That's so important with driver, it really is. Unlike an iron, an iron we want to hit more down. We want to get the body over the top of the golf ball more. With driver, we want to delay that weight transfer. And that's what's really important there, that wording, we want to delay the weight transfer. So once we've got our ball position, forward notice how as i set up to the golf ball my upper body is ever so slightly tilted from the peak of my hat to my belt buckle i've got a little bit of a slant going on that way that's going to help us to encourage that upwards hit when we come into the ball so ideally when we hit with driver we almost want to get into a position that is ever so slightly back our body is ever so slightly leaning backwards only only slightly as we actually make contact with the golf ball. The benefit of that, you can hit slightly higher off the face, so you can get that low spin, and because you're hitting up on the golf ball, again, that'll give you the low spin and the correct launch angles to hit it longer. So as you set up to the golf ball, a little bit of a slant in the upper body, and it's not a lot, it's just a little bit of a tilt, and then from there, aim to try and stay in that slightly tilted position as you make contact with the golf ball. So you're almost just slightly delaying that weight transfer. There's one more golden rule though that will definitely help you hit much better drives and bring all this together. The final point, point number three. Now so far, number one and number two have definitely helped us hit more up on the golf ball to get those correct launch conditions. The last point, and it ties in very nicely to point number two, what we don't want to do is hold all the weight too much on our back foot throughout the entire swing and into the follow through. That's where you are gonna actually lose distance. We wanna get that body moving towards a target, but we're delaying it. So I'm just gonna take the ball off the tee for a moment. What you'll see here, and you'll see this from the best players in the world, once that ball position is forward and they've got that slight tilt in the body and they come into the golf ball with tilt, from that point then, it is a rotation of the hips and it's a more of a move around the left leg. So we're delaying the weight transfer and then we're moving around that left leg. Notice how I've got more weight on my front foot here. I have fully pointed my hips towards the target. My body is fully rotated round and I've finished with balance. One of the best golfers in the world with this is Rory McIlroy. When he hits driver and he's bloody good at hitting driver, he'll finish really, really balanced almost like a statue he could stand there all day long if we can blend these three 
positives and we can change these mistakes that are very common mistakes. If we can get into a pattern that's helping us create all of this power and control and speed, you will hit driver better than you ever have done before. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.